Bong Joon-ho's Parasite was an entry point into a different side of cinema for a whole generation of film lovers. Not only did it open the world up to South Korean cinema, but it opened up the world to shock art Asian films in general. Yet, it's probably one of the most tame entries out there, especially when you're looking at films on this list. Asian cinema has always been on the cutting edge of shock art, pushing the boundaries of what you can do with the medium of horror and art house cinema. Dating back as early as 1962's Harakiri from Japan, we've seen time and time again entries from Asian cinema that has left us with our jaws dropped. For this list, we've put together the must-see entries from Hong Kong, South Korea, and Japan. If you do love this list, make sure you let us know your favorite Asian horror films that are shocking in the comments below. Make sure you also let us know what you thought of this video down there and subscribe to our channel. Now let's get to this list. Number 6, Old Boy. Let's get this absolute classic out of the way. Old Boy may not be as filthy as other movies we'll hear about later on, but the shock and awe of this Korean masterpiece is still impactful. For many, this was their introduction into the world of extreme cinema, and it makes for a compelling first outing. Park Chan-wook is an absolute powerhouse of a director, with his style and tone perfectly captured here. Old Boy took shock cinema and elevated the game, making every director after need to step up their game. It wasn't just about being filthy, it was about making compelling films and using the shock to make you love the medium of cinema that much more. It may not be as impactful as it was in 2003, but you cannot deny this cinematic power. The best shock of the film? Well, it's the iconic twist ending. It's the most imitated, but it's never been duplicated. Number 5. Visitor Q you can make a complete list of shocking movies just based on the work of Takashi Miike. What Miike is to shock is what Kevin Feige is to superheroes. He is just the master of it. Many people can try, but they've never been able to perfect what Miike has done with his early Japanese work. While the prolific Japanese filmmaker, he has over a hundred directing credits. He has tamed himself in recent years. Visitor Q has enough sins in it for a life time. Visitor Q sees a strange visitor randomly falling upon a Japanese family and they forever are changed after his journey, though he already walked into a pretty twisted setup. If there is a taboo known to man, the Yamakaze family in this movie nails it on the head. Mike does not hold back and makes his other shock films like Ichi the Killer and Audition feel pretty tame in comparison. The biggest shock of this movie? There is a large amount of breast milk featured and it's basically a central plot line. Number 4. Dumplings this gnarly little Chinese film made a name for itself in the mid-2000s. Starting as a brilliant short film in the anthology series, Three Extremes, Dumplings was later expanded to a full feature. Whether the runtime is 40 minutes or an hour and a half, this tale of beauty's dark side is so hard to swallow. In Dumplings, we follow an aging actress desperate to stay connected to the high beauty standards in her industry. She turns to a relatively shocking method of doing so, something you need to read or see about to fully even grasp. Miriam Young eats her role up, somehow making you question where you land on the story. Even though you know things are wrong, you still go, well, okay. The best shock of this film is the twisted final moments with Mrs. Lee and her unexpected pregnancy. Number 3. Tokyo Gore Police. Tokyo Gore Police lives up to its name with some of the most extreme gore, yet it's done refreshingly strange. Stripped back is the visceral brutality that you see in other films on this list, and in its place is cartoon insanity. If you imagine the monsters from an episode of Power Rangers but filtered through the eyes of Sam Raimi, you might have an idea of how weird this movie feels. While director Yoshihiri Nishimori can engage you with his great storytelling, the vibrant creations on display make this film worthwhile. Known as the Tom Savini of Japan, Nishimura can go down having one of the most out there entries in all of Japanese cinema. 
And at this point, that's saying something. The best shock of this movie is the beautiful and twisted alligator girl. How is she so sexy yet so horrifying? If you don't know what this one is, Google this one. Number two. The Isle. Getting walkouts at a film festival is like a requirement for a shock movie. Ask any large volunteer audience. But getting people to faint is a high honor in this world. In Kim Ki Duk's The Isle reportedly saw a few people pass out during its premiere at the Venice Film Festival. One of the best parts about this is unlike some of the other older shock Asian films, this one has aged well, maybe even gotten better over time. The Isle follows He Jin and Yun Sik, two strangers who enter one of the most disturbed love stories. You can't take your eyes off the pair, even when they're doing the most troubling, disturbing situations. I know calling this movie a love story feels like a stretch, but what else can you do? Many would come to know Kim Ki Dooks as a shock artist, and this feels like his glorious coming out party as such. The best shock in this film is the fish hook suicide attempts, multiple of them. Number 1. The Eternal Evil of Asia Bizarre does not even begin to cover this movie. The Eternal Evil of Asia might be one of the most strange films of all time. If you take The Hangover and mix it with an even more demented Sam Raimi film, you probably wouldn't even still get close to this piece of film. When a group of friends accidentally murder a sorcerer's sister while on vacation in Thailand, their lives are forever doomed, while ours are made better by watching it all unfold. Much like Tokyo Gore Police, the more comedic approach helps this entry stand out against the pack, allowing the shock to hit you in a much different way. While still disgusting, still shocking, and still Still just as oh my god WTF, the movie works well, it's a bit hard to find, but this one is well worth the viewing. The best shock in this one, well, a man literally turns into a giant penis head. Yeah, it's pure sleazy comedy gold. What is your favorite Asian shocker? Let us know at our social media channels, at Flickering Myth, or let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel if you did enjoy this, because we make videos like this every single week, and give us a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Alright everyone, let's talk about shocking Asian horror films down below.